Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And today I'm going to add to my post processing series. And this is going to show you how to install and add post processing to your scene and get started with it. And be sure to check all the links down in the description to learn about programming post processing at runtime to be able to get a general overview and get all you need to know. So, first of all, you might have your scene, it could be blank whatever that may be. You need to go to Window, Package Manager, and Package Manager should just pop out and you can go to the top and make sure it's on Unity Registry by clicking the little drop down. Then you can type in Post and make sure you choose the Post Processing here. And once you've found it, you can just click on the bottom corner to click Install and it will install that into your project. Once that's done, we can close up that menu. And what we want to do is we want to create a layer here. So we can right click in the hierarchy, create a new game object and call this our post processing volume. And then once we're from there, we can new component called post process volume. And you can choose whether you want to make that a global post processing effect. So that means that if we take that, it will affect the entire scene in exactly the same way. You can choose to add the weight to how much you want the post processing to affect the scene. Priority with if you have multiple volumes, and I do have a tutorial looking at different volumes to be able to create post processing for one area or another. And then the profile at the bottom, which we can just click to click add new so when you click it you can create a new volume and it will just add it to wherever it will be de by default then we can start adding the things and if we select our volume you could start by adding different effects and if you click the add effect and choose it you can start by selecting and adding all the different effects that you might want to add to your scene and remember that once your post processing volume has the effects added to this profile down in your project panel it will have it to be able to be editable in the overrides over here so it'll update the prefab itself and you make sure that you can just tick any of these options on or off to be able to have access to them then once you've done that you need to go to your main camera and make sure that you add a post process layer now that will then make the post processing become active you need to make sure the trigger is your camera, which will be there by default. You can set a layer which your post processing volume should be on. So then you can actually take objects out of post processing and just make it more suitable for development in the future. So say we go back onto the post processing volume that we created. We want to click on the drop down, and I've already got a layer called post process, but you can add a new layer and create a new one that you might want. So I'm going to on this post processing volume, go to the layer add post process then on my camera what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put from nothing on the layer I'm going to add that also to post processing so it makes sure it affects that camera only then you can have your anti-aliasing and set that to the temporal anti-aliasing if you want anti-aliasing in there because it's the most performant you can leave everything to by default and then I already do have a pre-made post processing effect that I want to use so then I've already got my ambient occlusion bloom color grading vignette and everything that I wanted to use to add the post-processing to my scene here. So that was a quick installation and setup for post-processing. And be sure to come and check out my Patreon to get access to over 135 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. So be sure to check out my assets on the Unity Asset Style and on my website to get bonus discounts for all my subscribers and everybody who comes along. Big thanks to all my patrons for coming to support the channel and a massive thank you to Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Pavel, Tan Yanlin, Monetary and US Rustube 2X for their amazing support. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.